Hey guys, I wanted to do another video covering some more Minecraft 1.16.5 mods for Forge users, and it's still a pretty popular version right now. I'll have mod videos for the current version of Minecraft coming shortly, and if you like any of these mods, you can find the link to download them in the description below. Mutant More adds some new creatures to Minecraft and is inspired by the original Mutant Creatures mod, which you might know about. The mod includes mutated version of husks, wither skeletons, blaze, hoglins, and shulkers. You'll be able to find them spawning in your game naturally, but you can also mutate these creatures yourself using either the Formula Y or Compound Z items, which you can create yourself. As you'd expect, defeating these creatures won't be easy as they have a lot more health as well as some special abilities they can use in combat. But if you do defeat them, you'll receive drops like mutant wither skeleton armor cactus jugs, and mutant hoglin tusks. With this mod, you can create your own tiny villages, which can do tasks like mine out quarries, farm crops, or chop down trees, giving you the items they collect in return. It's quite hard to get started with, but if you create the farmhouse and press the guide button, you'll be given a guidebook. As the buildings harvest items, they'll collect experience and level up, which will mostly increase their speed and their harvestable area. Additional enchants will add six new enchantments to Minecraft, which are called Healing Waters, Escape, Cure, Super Mining, Nocturnal, and Trick or Treat. Nocturnal can be applied to your sword and will give increased damage at night. Super Mining will allow you to mine a 3x3 area instead, like a hammer. Escape will give you a burst of speed when you're attacked. And Healing Waters can be applied to your legs to give you the regeneration effect when wet. The Sons of Sins add seven new creatures, with each one representing one of the seven deadly sins. It adds the Wistever Walking Bed, Prowler, Iron Hit, Curse, Bloody River, and Bloody Butcher. To summon them, you'll want to eat an Adam's Apple, which can be created from a regular apple. They're going to be hard to kill, and they could even kill you in one or two hits with endgame armor. If you do kill them, you'll receive Bloody Bones, which can be turned into some bone-themed tools but they'll also drop some really powerful items too, like the Bloody Puddle, which sends creatures into the ground to suffocate, or the Wistifer Jaws, which sucks the energy from a creature, giving you the regeneration effect. The Trading Table is a block which can be crafted from eight wood slabs and an ender pearl. You can place it down in a village and it will detect all villagers within a 64 block radius. It shows useful information like their level, position, profession, and health. You can also hit the Start Trading button to trade with these villagers without having to go and search for them. Brass Amber's Battle Towers adds these huge new towers to your world, which contains multiple floors with mobs to defeat. On each floor, you'll find hostile enemies like skeletons, zombies, and pillagers, with a spiral staircase going throughout the tower. You might also find stone chests, which can be opened by destroying two spawners on that floor. Once you reach the top, you can summon the Tower Golem using three land monolith keys and try to defeat the boss. It has a lot of health, so make sure you come prepared. If you beat the Tower Golem, then you'll receive a Land Guardian Eye, and the tower will be destroyed, as it can't survive without the Tower Golem's energy. There's more coming to this mod soon, with more mobs and towers in new locations. The Halloween Nightmare is another boss which can be summoned using three oak leaves, one glowstone block, and one jack-o'-lantern. When you do summon it, it will attack instantly with melee attacks, but it can also summon root attacks too. Once the health of the Halloween Nightmare reaches half, it will enter a charged state, where it will absorb more damage. All it drops is some Halloween pumpkin pie slices, which give some extra strength and glowing effects. Growth potions can be brewed by brewing bone blocks into splash water bottles. You can then add red mushrooms to the growth potions to turn them into strong growth potions inside a brewing stand. If you throw a growth potion into crops, then they'll grow like they had bone meal applied to them. If you throw a strong growth potion, then they'll advance to their final growth stage instead. With jumpy boats, you can do small jumps while you're riding a boat so that you can easily take it onto land or make small crossings. 
It's not going to allow you to jump up to other blocks, but it should help with transporting animals at least. Brooms are new vehicles, and they can be crafted from three hay bales, a blaze rod, and a stick. You can place it down, mount it, and hold space to fly in the air for a short duration, and it feels pretty smooth to use. You can improve the broom using some new enchantments included with the mod, which can increase the speed, flight time, or allow it to recharge when flying near water. You can also use the Balance Flight mod to fly around. You can start by crafting the basic flight ring, which requires you to go to the nether to craft, as it requires four blocks of quartz. This ring only works in the overworld, and it also requires you to craft a flight anchor, which there are three tiers of. When you place a flight anchor down, you can fly in a radius of it, ranging from 25 to 100 blocks. Once you've reached the end, you can craft the ascended flight ring using an elytra, which allows you to fly freely without limits, similar to creative mode. Another mod I really like is Waxed Wood. With it installed, you'll be able to hold Honeycomb and right-click on different wood blocks. The colors will change slightly, but they'll also now be fireproof so you can protect your builds, but it might prove expensive over time. With Trajan's tanks, you can craft your very own tank to drive around in. They're quite expensive, mostly requiring lots of iron and leather. They can be placed down and you can drive them. If you have the tank ammo in your inventory, then you can fire explosives too every few seconds. But be careful because these rounds can damage or even kill you if you're too close to the explosion. The version of this mod for Minecraft 1.18 has more features available, such as anti-tank artillery. I mentioned Sky Villages a while ago when it originally released, but it's also available for Minecraft 1.16.5 for Forge. These villages that you'll find floating above the clouds are designed very nicely and have more detail and work put into them than similar styled mods. You'll find everything you need up here like villagers to trade with and tons of light, so you shouldn't have to worry about hostile mobs spawning. The only thing you do need to worry about is a way of reaching these villages, as they could spawn a hundred blocks above ground. Baby Fat adds the Ranchu, which is a breed of goldfish. You have a good chance of finding them naturally spawning in rivers, and you can pick them up in a bucket to transport them. If you head to the savanna, then you might find water lettuce spawning there in water. There's tons of different variants to ranchu, which can be achieved through breeding, and they can only be bred at sunrise when there's water lettuce nearby. As I said at the start of the video, I've got some more videos coming very soon for the latest version of Minecraft, so make sure to subscribe if you haven't already so you can see more of my latest uploads.